What's up guys, how's it going? Peter here. Just got done watching, or should I say witnessing, White Family's debut on Monday Night Raw. And I must say, the uh, Vicky Guerrero job evaluation thing, the segment was pretty darn awesome. Uh, I was expecting a lot out of the uh, White Family debut, but then again, it was a win-win situation. Anything, whatever we can see on TV, you know, like their debut, uh, was it was just awesome. I mean, the whole uh, promos, you know, the little cutscenes and stuff that they showed in between Raw segments, like every 30 minutes, it was pretty awesome. Um, then finally, you know, at the last hour of Monday Night Raw, we uh, saw uh, Bray Wyatt with the other two members. They came out, they made their freaking phenomenal entrance, um, and they attacked Kane. Now, you must say, you know, what's going to happen at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view? Who knows, they might end up taking out another person at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Or they might end up picking up on Kane again. Just like they, um, what's the name, um, The Shield, they were picking up on, um, uh, Ryback when, um, you know, they made their debut. Um, anything's possible. I mean, who knows? Oh, it's just, um, only a matter of time. We'll get to find out in upcoming episodes of Monday Night Raw. Um, on the other hand, the matches were pretty darn decent. Uh, Daniel Bryan matchup with uh, Sheamus, I was like surprised. I mean, I didn't expect a freaking good match. Like, Daniel Bryan, hands down, man, he's a tough guy. For like a short guy, I mean, he's pretty freaking tough. Both Daniel Bryan and Sheamus put up a good wrestling matchup. Daniel Bryan won the matchup by a small package, which was a pretty good move by WWE because we don't get to see that very often. In the beginning of the show, you know, Vicky Guerrero showed up with uh, Brad Maddox and two referees were holding on to the ladder while she was on the top. Everybody was chanting, fall, 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 and I laughed my butt off when people started chanting that. The crowd was filled up with a bunch of smarks because, you know, when Bray White came out, uh, at the end of the segment, people are chanting, Husky Harris, Husky Harris. I was like, wow. Anyways, let's talk about Vicky Guerrero and uh, the segment that took place between Stephanie McMahon, Vince, and uh, Triple H. Uh, it's pretty weird, like, how they, they're they doing this whole McMahon family storyline. Of course, this is going to lead up somewhere. And I'm just going to, like, predict. Same thing is going to happen with Brad Maddox, what happened with uh, Vicky Guerrero. Uh, it's just only a matter of time. Uh, it's just... They're going to get to a point where they're going to be like, oh, you know, they're going to start disagreeing too much because at the, uh, like, what, a month ago, they hugged or something. I'm talking about Vince McMahon and Triple H where they agreed, you know, hey, I don't want to do things this way or I don't want to do things your way. So it's just whatever. Uh, and Stephanie, she's going to be in the middle. You know, this could possibly lead to a Survivor Series matchup, Vince's team versus Triple H's team. And, you know, Stephanie McMahon could be a referee. I don't know. I'm just throwing crazy ideas. It's a good TV entertainment if they want to do it. Hell, if I was a WWE writer, I'd possibly make them do something like that. But then again, you know, when Triple H and Vince McMahon, they were out on the table. Uh, it was a pretty uh, typical situation they were in. Vince McMahon was taking sides with uh, Vicky Guerrero. And while Triple H, he was uh, saying bad stuff about Vicky Guerrero. And once again, fans decided that Vicky Guerrero has failed to do her job the right way. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure that Vicky Guerrero is still going to, you know, appear on uh, WWE TV. She's fired as the GM. She's not fired as from the WWE itself. So, you know, she's going to stick around and maybe just uh, be a friend of Brad Maddox. Uh, who knows? I don't know. But people kind of like Brad Maddox. I don't know what's going to, you know, happen with Brad. It's just that opposite things are going to happen from now on. Maybe Triple H is going to start taking sides with Brad. And uh, while Vince McMahon, he's going to be, you know, opposing. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm just saying. I'm just guessing right now. But then again, I think it was a must-watch segment. You guys definitely need to check it out. Because at the end, like, Vicky Greer was screaming on top of her freaking lungs. It was annoying as crap. But it's still funny the way she uh, went out, you know. Mark Henry and John Cena's segment was pretty good. Uh, I mean, I really wish that Mark would win the championship. But then again, the chances are so freaking slim. Since they're talking about doing a uh, WWE championship match between Cena and Daniel Bryan. So who knows. 
Uh, I would love, I would love to see Mark Henry win the championship for even like freaking one week or one day, just the way they did with uh, Kane back in the day, uh, back what maybe 13, 14 years ago when Kane won, and the next night he dropped the championship. I really wish that Kane would have stayed a champion, you know, for a long time. I don't know why, for what odd reason. Maybe Kane just, you know, didn't put a pressure on himself. He never, you know, said that, hey, I want to hold on to the championship for a long time. So, whatever. I don't know. Maybe he's a very generous guy, always wants to put the talent over. Who knows? But uh, Henry and John Cena segment was pretty good. Uh, I really thought that, you know, Cena was going to come out as a Super Cena, but that didn't happen. Uh, Henry just basically run him over like a freaking train, and he picked him up off the ground, and uh, he did the uh, World's Strongest Slam. Uh, I really want the new Mark Henry shirt. Maybe when I get paid, I will buy it. And also the new Daniel Bryan shirt. I love that freaking shirt. The Shield had a match with, uh, or should I say Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns had a match with uh, Tensai and Brodus Clay. The Shield won the matchup. Chris Jericho and Curtis Axel had a matchup. And The Miz was out doing the commentary, causing a distraction. Jericho won the matchup. And uh, this was like the first match uh, of Curtis Axel that he actually lost as a Paul Hammond guy. They kind of made a big deal about it because, uh, you know, they kept repeating it. And uh, that was it. Sin Cara had a match with Alberto Del Rio. Um, backstage they had the segment where Fandango got knocked out. You guys need to watch. It was pretty funny. Wade Bear just knocked the crap out of Fandango because he, uh, you know, started saying Fan, and everybody kept saying, "Stop it! Don't do it!" So uh, that's a, that was a must-watch segment because it was pretty funny. I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, I love Fandango, but that was just funny. And I'm sorry I interrupted myself. Uh, Sin Cara and Alberto Del Rio had a matchup. It kind of ended as a no contest because Dolph Ziggler came out. And uh, basically, referee didn't do anything. It went to commercial break and it was just gone. The match wasn't there. It didn't exist. Like, I don't know what happened. Uh, then, uh, you know, they had the uh, Vicky Guerrero job evaluation. Already talked about that. I don't, don't want to talk about that anymore. Kane and Christian had a matchup where um, Kane won. And they cut to the uh, promo of, um, or should I say the entrance of, or should I say the debut of White Family, where White Family came out and they attacked Kane. Asia Lee and Alicia, nope, not going to talk about that. CM Punk and Randy Orton had a matchup where CM Punk won the match. After the match, Daniel Bryan came out and started attacking CM Punk. He took out the ladder, I'm talking about, um... Daniel Bryan took out the ladder and he took off the briefcase and he started doing the chant yes 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 could it be possible that Daniel Bryan could win at this Sunday's pay-per-view I don't know post your comments let me know give me a like on this video if you guys can thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time bye bye oh yes and I cannot wait for Rob Van Dam.